Hey, you got Fox here. Today I got a review of 92 overall Mark Ingram's halfback card. I bet you didn't know this card was in the game. Did ya? Yeah, not many people do. They're like, oh, Ingram as a team of the week card. Unless you're a hardcore Saints fan. Uh, but Speed 88, here we are comparing him to 94 LT. I know a lot of people don't have the LT up to 94, so we'll go through Ingram and his strengths and weaknesses. If LT's not in the game, of course. Agility 89, and it kind of felt like that. Oh, I'll get to that in a little bit. I'll just listen through the stats here. Acceleration 92, carry 92, spin move 85, elusiveness 81, truck 91, juke 90. Um, you can see the other stats on the left of the screen scrolling down. The spec catch, catch of traffic are 70s like every other running back in the game, catching at 70. Route running 78. Uh, so this card overall, I mean, he felt pretty good. You know, trucking in this game is fine. I think trucking is on the level of where it was in 17. You know how everybody said trucking's the move in 17? Well, it's basically moved forward to 18, but because of the spin and the juke and stuff, has gotten so overpowered this year, it's kind of gone under the radar. I've said that a few under the radar. I've said that a f in a few reviews uh, of how I, I think trucking is still good in 18, still very good, as people have used that Bo Jackson and stuff. Um, but overall, carrying 92, as you see my wonderful stick skills there. <laughs> I hate those play where you try to spin upfield, but you accidentally spin backwards. Uh, regardless, this this Ingram actually played well for me. You know, falling forward, you'll see him fall forward most every single play. Um, he, he he'll drag a car. That, that I don't know. That's kind of like the the flying guy that tripped him up. But the the speed is it does feel a little bit low there. The 88 speed seems like on the low end of acceptable for a high end running back right now for 140k. What he's going at, um, it's a little tough to to deal with a lower end speed when when really you got like the guys out here like the Cohens that'll just a little bit around burn around the edge here. There he is fumbling the ball. But this is a truck back so I guess you can live with a little bit lesser speed whereas like the elusive back basically needs the speed so like you're gonna be running through dudes the thing is like Ingram he's 215 so he doesn't feel like he has the the body size almost to really truck through a lot of dudes um, like there I got a trucking animation but it wasn't a good one and then luckily somebody fell on my backside to push me into the end zone uh, but Ingram overall uh, I, I was surprised because stat wise he didn't feel like he was going to be that good, but I mean, a lot of these clips, maybe they're not the greatest. I, I may have missed a couple of highlights from him, but he, he felt fine in my hands. Not as agile or nimble as, say, like the Barry Sanders, who almost felt like it was me out there controlling this thing. Like, it felt so responsive on the sticks, whereas this Ingram, it felt a little bit more, uh, I don't know, chuggy? Is that a word? Uh, whereas like the 89 agility kind of shows you're, you're not really cutting side to side. You'll see me run into a few linemen where like with other cards maybe I feel like I'd glide past them. Like there I, I cut right but it felt like I should have been able to cut right further quicker. Uh, that, so that's Ingram's main uh, negative is that he's not as, as fluid on the sticks as you'd like to see him. But overall I mean the running game is so good this year you can you can get a lot of cards and especially it depends on what kind of runs you run with this guy. This guy's not like a toss expert uh, but he can run it uh, competently. Um, he is more between an inside zone, I think, would be his specialty. Um, you could stretch and dive with him, but again, that that speed out there, like if you get like a I don't know, a bow in that spot, a LT, a faster guy there, I think he might outrun that dive from the opponent there. So overall, I did like the way England England felt, the way he uh, moved overall. Uh, maybe not the greatest running back this year, uh, especially for his price. I think there are better cards around it. But uh, out of 10, I got to give the card an 8.8. .8. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.